I think I'm a cocaine through channel now. <sighs> this is the Director 2 calculator made by the Californian El Dorado Electro Data Corporation in the early 70s, and my example is the 6,784th calculator off the line. Most notable deficiencies with this calculator currently are a yellowed outer shell, dirtiness, and a non-functioning component in the Burroughs Panaplex display, which kind of jolted back to life before filming this video, so actually, never mind, that's not a problem anymore. I don't know why it was a problem and why it's not now, but anyway, the display on this thing is nine digits, only eight of which are used by functions, while one is for extra notation, such as error, etc. All of the keys on the keyboard function, but a lot of cleanup was required nonetheless because they were all very goopy and disgusting. Dirty, the Director 2, weighs 2.156 pounds, including its plug, as much as a four and a half inch stack of floppies. <laughs> this calculator just tells you to disconnect the power supply on the bottom before removing the cover. Uh, not that doing so will void your warranty, and in extreme contrast to everything today, which has a vo warranty void if removed sticker, which is probably not legally okay. After, anyway, after cleaning up the calculator's raunchy plug, a tedious and disgusting process, I might add, as some black residue frequented the underside of the plug cord and unscrewing four underside screws holding the body together, note the cork feet on this, which is actually contrary to the typical rub rubber feet often employed in offices everywhere today, um, I used soapy water and a toothbrush to examine and exterminate mild dirt and grime, incorporating baking soda uh, when necessary in order to abrase stubborn adherences. This calculator was still way more yellow on the outside than inside, as you can see, so I removed all exterior labels and plunked the halves into 3% hydrogen peroxide. With the board bare, it's easy to single out the Texas Instruments TMS-0103 calculator IC, the main factor contributing to the calculator's function on all fronts. Uh, it's going to take a few days to get those two halves uh, retrobrighted, so let's go into the El Dorado story. What was El Dorado? And why don't they exist anymore? Well, the story of the Director 2 extends past this singular calculator model, uh, as the company producing it went bankrupt early in the decade of integrated circuit integration. Dave Fays tells of this company, lost to the digital age because of the calculator manufacturer itself. El Dorado, a privately held company, went bankrupt around mid-74. The calculator business was a good part of the reason for the company's demise. The business also had a small line of some of the best counter timers and nanosecond timers available anywhere. Much of this was sold to the government. Mini computers, big as washing machines, and memory systems were also developed and marketed. The calculator business started with the Model 8C, which was about the size of a too high computer keyboard. Original MSRP for this four-function, eight-digit calculator was $349 in the early 70s. Early 8K machines utilized an unbuffered TI chipset. Needless to say, some shuffling across the office or home carpet would kill the chipset. Buffered chipsets weren't employed until many thousands of the model were shipped with house and other brand names, such as Admaster, Sears and Roebuck, Martian, Tax Corporation of America, and many others, emblazoning that little piece of foil below the readout window. SS Craigsy bought a majority of the 8Ks, which were affixed th with their Kmart name. Kmart units sold like hotcakes near the end due to their $40 sales price. This price was about one half of the construction and boxing price, and about a third of the MSRP of $129.95. Needless to say, with a one-year warranty, thousands of unbuffered sets were returned, lawsuits and countersuits were initiated, and the end of a good company was on the horizon. I was recruited from Cistron Donner, across town in early 73 as El Dorado's national service manager. I thought I'd been in a pressure cooker at SD, but the move was like tossing a live lobster, me, into a pot of boiling water. My department was faced with the repair and return, most often warranty, of up to 350 calculators a day. Hex numbered 18 plus a few more part-timers plus several contract service stations worldwide. The company controller hated to see me come through his door because most repairs were simply replacing the chipset or the entire motherboard. My department was simply a finger in the dike, so to speak. Near the end, 12K with a few scientific type features calculator plus a few handhelds were developed. None of these sold very well. Also manufactured was a neat little 70s style clock, one of which keeps time in my living room. After I bailed out, SD rehired me as part of their new service division, located then in the ex El Dorado facility. Man, if those walls could have talked. Thus concludes today's history lesson. Ah, and it looks like the calculator's two halves are finally out of the sun. Well, anyway, current director two pricing 
For the white or black model, because they did make both a white and a black model, is around $44 on eBay, though they're rare enough to uh, take up less than half a page on the website. I hope you enjoyed listening to this very interesting story about the folly of a company that made like Walt Disney and tried to sell their product for less or equal to the manufacturing price. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.